What is the secret to high-performance AV networks? The ability to separate traffic into different traffic lanes. These lanes are to help different types of network traffic get to where they need efficiently. Some traffic, like voice traffic or video streaming, needs to get from device to device with as little delay as possible and is put into a lane with other fast-moving traffic. Now, data traffic for print jobs is not sensitive to delays and is grouped with other similar traffic types. By organizing traffic into these lanes, this allows all network traffic types to be processed according to their actual needs while providing a higher overall level of performance. Traditionally, these lanes are also known as VLANs, or Virtual Local Area Networks. They are hard to set up and apply consistently across the network. However, Package has removed the complexity and implemented a simplified, more unified way of configuring VLANs across Package Connect Plus certified devices, such as the RE2 and RK routers, the SX series switches, and the WK or WX access points. This technology is known as Package Zones. With Package Zones, we have taken the VLAN concept and defined it for AV with six predefined zones. Package Zones extend from the client device all the way through the network end to end. With Package Zones, all the policies and processes are automated and applied consistently. This means that traffic tagged in the video zone will always be processed as video traffic in the router, switch, and wireless access point no matter how large and complex the network is. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a high performance package network using package zones and be done in less than 15 minutes. When you first log into your RE2 router, you're going to navigate to network zones from the dashboard. You will immediately see all of your package zones pre-configured and unless you want to make any changes to its IP schema, you are now set and ready to go. For your next step, you wanna to go to the SX24P switch. You're going to navigate to your VLAN and configuration menu option from the dashboard, and you have two options available. If you go to your package zone template, you have the ability to utilize one of these templates and apply the template to the port configurations without going through the step-by-step -step process. However, if there's a specific way that you want to configure your package zones onto your ports, then we can utilize the package zones wizard. We can select the start button, we're going to select the zones that we want to add onto this network and click Next. And now we're going to select the ports that we want to have configured for each individual zone by selecting them and then drag and drop. We can either select them individually or we can group them together and drag and drop them to the necessary zone. Once we've populated all of the boxes for each zone, then we can click on the next button and now we're going to also confirm our zone link or otherwise known as our uplink ports. By default, ports 1 and 24 are set up as hybrid ports, which are those ports that will have all VLANs tagged. Once you click on next, you can now confirm the configuration you have made. And if you click on the confirm button, you will immediately see in less than 30 seconds all 24 ports configured to your request. Now that your switch has been configured, we can move on to our WX access point. From the dashboard, you want to click on the wireless menu option. We're going to edit our security profiles to provide the necessary encryption, which actually is WPA2 PSK. We're going to update our password information. And once we apply, we can go to our configuration option and set up our SSID information. When I'm setting up my SSID information, I want to make sure that I set up these two SSIDs to broadcast on VLAN 3. So once I verify my SSID name and my security profile information, I will click on the circle and I will select 3. If I connect my SSID, I'm going to obtain a VLAN 3 IP address. I will also do the same for my 5 gigahertz. Once I verify my SSID name, and my security profile, I will also select three to verify that my SSID is going to broadcast on VLAN three. Once I finish this configuration, I can click on apply and now I have configured my core network in less than 15 minutes. Now, when your devices have been separated into zones, initially having this traffic separated, they cannot cut across the lanes. But what if you have a smartphone connected to a wireless access point on zone one and you want to access an IP camera remotely on zone two. Traditionally, this is done in the router and required a lot of effort. 
For example, on the 60D router, you would need to set up specific policies to enable this type of communication. With package zones, this incorporates zone bonding technology, which removes this level of complexity and effort. Let's see how you can do this in under five seconds in the PackEdge RE and RK routers. This is done in the router by simply checking this box and you're now set up. Using the package zones and zone bonding technologies, this allows for the core of your network, your router, switch, and access point to be configured in less than 15 minutes.